Hey everybody, in the garage today, fiddling around. I've noticed the brakes on my car, I've got 41,000 on it, and uh, I've been noticing the brakes, they feel a little pulsating, when you hit the pedals you can feel it bouncing. And they don't look too bad. And they're getting down there, the squeakers I think are hitting. But yeah, they're getting a little thin, I can see them right there. I'm not taking any chances. So I got new rotors. And I got uh, new pads. These are these are wicked easy to put on. I mean, you take the tire off. Um, you take out the screw right there. And the screwdriver wouldn't do it. I had to use this setup on it. Two 14 millimeter bolts. They, they broke loose so easy because I got to do everything left handed. Because my shoulders freaking kill me. And you can see how much your pads have worn down by the gap in here. You know, usually it's a lot tighter than that. But once your pads start getting burned down, your brake pedal goes lower to the ground. So, so that's what I'm doing today. Take out the two set screws. That one. That one. Then this should yank off of there. With a little bit of fiddling this one handed fiddling bullshit it's bullshit I'm going to have to squeeze the piston back in so I just pry it off like that I'll have to squeeze the piston back in so yeah there's, there's quite a bit of life left on them so that's basically it I mean take these out is your inner and outer. I'm gonna have to probably take these two bolts back here out so I can get the rotor off. So, that's my excitement of the day. It's a pretty easy job. I mean, that's gonna be it for me. So, what are you up to today? Have a good one. So I just got the rotor off. I had to get a little tappy, tappy tap with the hammer. If you look at the new ones, how they're nice and smooth through here. I got a big groove right there. Look at these. The brakes are barely even working on this side. I mean, you've got that much brake, and you're only using, you know, not much of it. So, yeah, this thing was due for brakes. Even though the pads, my guess is, there's my hit where I knocked it off. My guess is, Somebody may have just threw pads on it last time and didn't really, uh, you know, do anything. But I get my wire brush out. I'll clean all this up because uh, if you get a little chunk of crap behind here, then your brake's going to wobble. And your pulsating will come back and you'll be like, why the hell's it pulsating? These are brand new. So I'll do that. I got to degrease that, spray it with cleaner because they come sprayed with oil. And if you put them on and don't clean them, they're going to glaze your brakes, and then they're not going to work good. So maybe I'll put a little bit of a little never seize on the shaft here. You know, because it took a nice hit to get that off of there, break it loose, and look at the rust came out. So I'm going to clean everything up. One good thing is these work smooth. You got to check that. Make sure these work good. They're nice and loose. That's cool. So that's it. Put the new drum on. I clean it up with the new drum on. Put the new pads back in. And I'll give everything a little lube here and there. And that's it. I mean, brakes are so freaking easy. I don't know why people don't do them themselves. And there you go. There's a new rotor. The new pads in there. There's a little gap between them now because I squeezed the piston back in. Slid right on perfect. Just tighten up these two nuts here and that's it um, I knew I was gonna be doing this because these are the stupid steel cased nuts that come with the car and they're really bullshit garbage lug nuts because it's steel casing the top of it so I went on eBay and I bought a whole bag of these 
these are solid there's no metal casing over them what happens is these casings get rust underneath them and they expand and you can't get the socket on them or they start slipping I mean see this one here you can tell it's it's starting to swell up I don't know you can really see it on camera but they're garbage I don't know why the hell the car dealers do this so I bought these ahead of time and I don't have to worry about that anymore so all right there's one side done surprisingly my shoulders holding up I mean I got a few sharp pains I got to be careful so mr. left hands doing all the work today so that's it very simple to do brakes on a Chevy wherever the hell this thing is spark I almost said Colorado Jesus all right have a good one like subscribe uh, comment give me a hug whatever have a good day